Find the change in time. It is now six o'clock. What time will it be in one hour? Well, on a clock, we have a long skinny hand and that's gonna be our minute hand. And then we have a shorter, thicker hand and that's our hour hand. Our hours are represented by these hour tick marks around that go by 12. Okay, so if we're at six o'clock, we're gonna go one more hour and one more hour would put us at seven o'clock. So the time would be seven o'clock. It is now four o'clock. What time will it be in three hours? So let's look at four o'clock. So our hour, our minute hand is at the 12, showing that it's exactly four o'clock. So we're at the four here and we're gonna go one hour. Well, one more hour would put us at five o'clock. Another hour would put us at six o'clock. So another hour would put us at seven o'clock. So one, two, three hours, it would be seven o'clock. It is now one o'clock. What time will it be in one hour? So our hour hand is on the one, it's on one o'clock, and we need to go one hour. So if we go one more hour, our hour hand will be on the two or two o'clock. It is now two o'clock. What time will it be in two hours? So our hour hand is pointed to the two. We need to go two hours. So one hour would put us at three o'clock. One more hour would put us at four o'clock. So that would be one, two hours. So four o'clock would be two hours from two o'clock. It is now nine o'clock. What time will it be in two hours? So our hour hand is pointed at the nine. So we're gonna go two hours. So one hour would be 10. One more hour would be 11. So it would be 11 o'clock. Look at this clock. What time will it be in one hour? So let's look at the time on the clock. Well, our minute hand is pointed at the 12, which means that it's exactly something o'clock. So it is exactly three o'clock right now. Our hour hand is pointed exactly at that three. So if we're gonna go one hour from three o'clock, from three to four, what time would it be? Well, one hour later would be four o'clock. Look at this clock, what time will it be in three hours? So let's look, our hour hand is pointed at the 11 and our minute hand is pointed at the 12, which means that it's exactly 11 o'clock. So if it's 11 o'clock and I'm gonna go three hours. So one hour puts me at 12. Another hour puts me at one, so that's one, two hours. And if I go another hour, that puts me at two o'clock. So three hours later would be two o'clock. Look at this clock. What time will it be in three hours? Let's look. Our minute hand is at the 12. Our hour hand is at the two. So we're looking at two o'clock. And if we're at two o'clock and we want to go three hours, we're at two. We go to three. That's one hour. We go to four, that's another hour. So that's one hour, two hours. We go to five, that's another hour. So one, two, three hours. So it would be five o'clock if we went three hours from two o'clock. Look at this clock, what time will it be in two hours? So our minute hand is at the 12 and our hour hand is at three. So it would be exactly three o'clock and if we're gonna go two hours, we're gonna start at three. One hour puts us at four. Two hours would put us at five. So it would be five o'clock. Awesome. Look at this clock. What time will it be in two hours? So right now the hour hand is at the seven and our minute hand is at the 12. So we're looking at exactly seven o'clock and we wanna go two hours from seven. So if we're at seven, one hour gets us to eight. Two hours gets us to nine. So it would be nine 
o'clock. Nice job finding the change in time.